my Final Fantasy people! We got an awesome, awesome event going on right now. We got the Moogle Market going on, but every 24 hours they have been refreshing it with some goody, goody, goodies. And I'm going to go over some of the things. I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think you guys should be spending your uh, Mind Slayer tokens on. And uh, see what see what we can do to build up your base. All right, so here we go. This is what they look like. They, they, they were here for a while, and then they came back. They have the level ones, and then they have the, uh, where are they? They got some level eights, too. I could find it. Here we go. We got some level eights. You gotta have Noctis's level eight skill unlocked, though, unfortunately, to attack the level eights. All right, but let's go into this. So what they've been doing is every every 24 hours they restock the Moogle Market with some new items, but they're not necessarily like the same items. They're actually different. So. What we have, what I'm going to show you now is not all the same items that were in there yesterday. Because they, they keep changing it a little bit. So here we go. We got Regal Noctis Metals. You actually need this for uh, level 200 Noctis. Uh, this requires 59 Fabled Mind Slayer trophies, right? So the Fabled Mind Slayer are the level 8s. So you get 1,000. So before... This is actually pretty good that they added this. So they actually have Fabled Mind Slayer trophies. So basically, you can attack the level ones, right? And you can use your tokens from the level ones to upgrade to the level eight tokens from the that you would get from the Fabled Mind Slayer, right? You only get one though. And it's 10,000. It's over 10,000. Mind Slayer Trophy just to get one Fabled Mind Slayer Trophy. I don't... I think that's a very, very bad uh, bad ratio. I, I, I highly recommend you don't spend 10000 just for one. Like, nah, wait. Do not do that. Uh, they also have this. We have Oracle Temple Blueprints. Uh, we couldn't... We didn't have this before. So now we got some blueprints for the Oracle Temple. A little bit costly for 100 um what else we got elite defense research tombs you get yourself that get 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 yourself your uh, upgrade your um your defense i believe this lets you get level eight traps now right because for the longest time the only way to get elite defense research tombs was through packs so now we actually have it available in the moogle market let me just check real quick to make sure i am not lying to you I believe that's what you need for your level 8 defense is the elite. I mean, because we were, for the longest, I mean, for a long time, we could not get elite. Let me see. Elite, right? Yeah, elite defense research team. So there you go. We can get ourselves all this. We can get our third monster slot. Troop capacity too. We can like this is big. We got a lot of good stuff, and then here we go. The fire le level eight. So you get your level eight traps. So that's huge for uh, for us defensive players. And then what else we got? So this is so. Uh, let me just go on. under this. They got this new tab, right? So every twenty four hours, when this refreshes, there's like new stuff in here. I mean, this has still been in here from last, from yesterday. This has also been here from yesterday. I think this might have been, but they, they've been adding some new stuff, like switching it up. But this is huge. Like, here we go. You finally get our elite defense research tombs. Um, what else we got? Commander Hall blueprints. Crystal Nexus blueprints. I don't think we had that before. Uh, Mythic Forge blueprints. Magic Tech Converter blueprints. We, we could not get these uh, blueprints for the Magitech Converter for, like, ever. Like, I, I was waiting so long to upgrade my Magitech. It was at, I think mine was at level 2. And now we can finally upgrade it and get it, like, you know, at a decent level. This, too. Mercenary Fighting Blueprints. We got this, too. You can upgrade. 
A hundred for twenty eight, which isn't bad. Uh, Monster farm. That's kind of we've been easy, and that's that's been easy to upgrade through the through the events. And then the Proving Grounds is kind of useless, too. And then we have some Fire Order Tribute, right? We couldn't get this before. The only way to get the Fire Ice, uh, all the Element Order Tributes, was through the uh, through events, which were really hard to get. And then we have some of this other stuff. We got the uh, Grandmaster uh, Destiny Charms, but you need the Level 8 trophies from the Level 8 monster. That's the only bad part. And then we got some more gems. We got some Paragon Nightmare gems. But again, you need the level 8. Like, they're really pushing this level 8. We also have this. This is pretty cool. She's 50k hero MP. Now, this is actually, like... Like, this is legit. Like, they only got one. So, I would definitely buy this every time it's available, right? So, I'm definitely gonna buy it right now. Because you figure, it's only costing 17 trophies. But you're getting 50,000 MP. So it's a huge, like, that's so good. So make sure you guys do this every 24 hours when it refreshes. Buy this. Buy this. It's free MP. It's free MP for the event. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this is huge. We, fought, we got all these different Oracle Blessing chests. We got basic ones. We got random ones. We got ones for building and research. Uh, Ascension Oracle Blessing chests for resources. We got Troop 1, uh, Troop Ascension Oracle Blessing Chests for Troops. We got Elite Oracle Blessings. I mean, we got everything. And these are just regular Mind Slayer trophies, too. So you guys can get all this. This is like, this is good stuff right here. Because these have been pretty hard to get. You could only get these through events also. Elite Combat. And then this is another huge one. Check this out. Check this out. Check what they added, right? They got your, you got your Rare Eggs. You got your epic eggs, but wait, it gets better. Legendary monster eggs. Straight up guaranteed legendary monster egg. Here you go. Any kind you want. Any one you want. The, the Giga Toad, every single one. They even got the Realm Boss ones in here. The, the St. Patrick's Day one, the legendary Tomberry egg. All these legendary eggs in here. Literally everyone. Legendary Mo Master, Chocobo. Every single egg, and then we got hatching stones to go with it. As many hatching stones as you want. All the different ones. So this is pretty good. If you uh, if you're lacking in your monster farm department with like monsters, this is a viable option if you want to, you know, upgrade up up your uh, up your monster count, right? If there's like a certain monster that you want to try and get, there you go. You get your legendary egg right here. Any one you want, pick it. Bam, you got it. This is, a, this is a great this is this is a great Moogle market event because they're giving us tons of stuff, tons of options, right? Tons of options. I wish I could get this this Paragon Nightmare. Look, you get sixty five of them, sixty five level ones. Oh, even this is pretty. Even this is good because this raises your maximum MP. You could get a lot of those. These gems, don't don't overlook the gems. The gems are very good. And we got in the discounted section. We got order tribute, very cheap. Royal Empire expansion blueprints, super cheap. Wonder blueprints, very very cheap. I remember when wonder blueprints used to be so hard to get. I mean, they were they costed so much. Now look at this. Anybody can build a wonder. Garrison blueprints are super cheap. I actually bought a bunch of these, and I uh, I upgraded my garrison to level four. So now, I mean, it's a free four extra million uh, troop capacity, so I might actually upgrade my garrison a little more. Uh, and then you have your grandiose, gradios, grandos blueprints. They're a bit costly. Again, I'd wait for a uh, realm boss event, which we just had not too long ago. And then they got some of these uh, flasks and stuff for other stuff. Uh, and then in general, you got your empire expansions, exalted empire expansion blueprints so look at this right exalted empire expansion blueprints times 100 213 and if you go in the discounted section royal empire expansion blueprints times 100 for 13 what so we got 100 for 13 or 100 for 213 so make sure you guys are checking the discounted section because this is where the cheap stuff is, and it's going to be updated, you know, every every 24 hours, something else might be in this discounted section. 
make sure you check this section before you go into the general because you could be wasting a lot of trophies when you could get you know a lot cheaper we got elements e hall blueprints uh we got regal iris metals and then you have your other uh basic stuff this is all just regular stuff and we got our xp the xp is not as much as it was before i remember there was a point where they were giving us tons of xp right and people thought they like they made a mistake, but now we only get 10, so I'm glad I stocked up on XP on the last event. And then you got your medals, which is all the same. Then we go over to the combat section. We got your Leviathan, your Shiva. This is all the same, you know, from last time it was. And then you got your ice elements. You got your uh, rations, some mercenary uh, materials to train uh, mercenary troops. We got Angus power-up materials, and then just some other chests for stuff. All right, so let's go. This is basically all right. So this is what this is my opinion, and you can either go with it or you know you can do your own thing. But I just want to let you know what I think. I want to say that a big thing that I would focus on personally is the mercenary fighting pits, right? This, I think, is overlooked right now, and I think this should be a main focus to upgrade. I, I up, just upgraded mine to 7 so I could get the Shadow Guardians now, and I'm buying some of these. I highly recommend that you look into upgrading your Mercenary Fighting Pits now, because we do have the, uh, we have the research for I mean, we have, you can get the blueprints for it, but I'm only saying to do that now because... In the past, the only way to get mercenary materials was through buying packs. So for a while, I kind of overlooked the mercenary fighting pits, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to level it up because I'm not going to buy a, a buy a hundred dollar pack just for some materials, you know, just for a mercenary troop. But now it's different because now they've given us tons of of ways to actually get the materials. You know, they've given us all these ways to get the materials to train these mercenary troops. So the mercenary fighting princes, a fighting pits, is a whole new, like you know, it's unlocked basically in a sense. It's not stuck behind a, 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 a pay to do well or a pay to win wall, right? So now you can just get this from events. You can get these these really good troops, you know. You can get the the materials to make them from the events. So I highly recommend you guys look into that. Look into your upgrading your fighting, your, your uh, mercenary fighting pits if you haven't already. Another thing I would look into upgrading is your Oracle Temple. If you do not have your Oracle Temple leveled up, uh, now that we have the, uh, you have all these chests and stuff to unlock, I, I also, this would be another option, upgrade your Oracle Blueprint, uh, your Oracle Temple with the Blueprint. It is very costly. It is very costly, I will say that. So it may not be something that you're totally gonna go for, but you gotta also remember, you can really, like, there's some really good stuff in there. And the fact that you know you can, we got all these, uh, you got all these chests now. Like this is, this you can really, you can really do some good work in that. And then my other third one would be the Magitech Converter. I would also highly recommend you upgrade your Magitech converter now that we have the blueprints in the Moogle market, right? Not necessarily because we might you might not need it now, but you never know when a new event might be around the corner. They may add some stuff to this, right? For you to craft something really good. And it might be like, oh, you gotta have your Magitech converter too, level five, right? And you're going to be kicking yourself that you didn't upgrade it when you had the chance. So you got to always be thinking ahead in this game, right? You always got to be thinking ahead. So don't overlook some of these things. Because in a week or two, you might not, we might not have access to, to blueprints for this. And we might get a, a Magitech event and it might be like, oh, you need to be level 5. You, might, you need to have it at a level 5 in order to craft something. So do not overlook that. I highly recommend you guys look into that. And another thing I would say is also 
uh, the garrison, right? The garrison is super cheap. You know, for just a couple, uh, you know, just two, three hundred, you can upgrade your garrison a lot. Do not overlook the garrison. The garrison is very, very good, right? Let me show you guys mine. Here we go. I got a level four garrison. And the benefits are really good. I mean, every time you upgrade it, you it, it increases your troop capacity by a million. So, you know, more troops is always better. You will, The more troops you can carry, the better it is for you to defend, right? This is highly recommended if you're like a defensive count, you know, and you don't necessarily go out and attack, but you want to defend against the stronger people. This is good to have, increase your troop capacity. And then, what else do we have? There's something else I want to show you guys the wonder if if you're you know it increases your uh your um your march size so maybe do this if you're like a heavy like go and want to attack people maybe but maybe build a wonder it's really cheap super cheap uh advanced combat research scrolls now's a chance if you want to uh go into that category in the research and just start doing that i actually bought a couple of these and i started uh doing research in my in my advanced combat section because I didn't do any before so that's definitely another viable uh, thing to do and then also I would look into uh, again upgrading your your uh, your astrals right because we just got a new we got a new mercenary troop for Leviathan so once you upgrade Leviathan to a certain level you'll unlock his personal troops and uh, Leviathan also got new upgrades to him. I'm, I'll show you guys in a second. They upgraded his uh, his tier tree of all his events or all his uh, abilities. But and then again, I would uh, buy some of these mercenary troop uh, stuff if you want because this stuff is the mercenary troops are really good. They hit really hard. the The power gem chest again is very good. Um. The power-up material for the defensive gear, very, very good. You get a 1,000. Very good. But definitely be checking this every day because they're, they're always adding new stuff and the discounted, is cha the, discount sh the discounted items change too. All right, so let me just show you guys real quick before I end the video. We'll show you the Astral. So they upgraded, they, they upgraded Leviathan, right? So they added some new skills to him. So they, look at this, city defense HP, this is through the freaking roof, right? Requires level 102. Definitely, definitely highly recommend if you don't already, definitely look into leveling him up to a, over 100. I, mine's only at 65. Because these level, like level 105, his new, his new, uh, his new, his new stats are really good. Trap HP, 400,000. Like, it's crazy. Levi, the, Levi, the new Leviathan upgrades are a monster. I mean, look at this. The, number, the numbers just keep going up and up and up as the game goes on. The numbers are just going to get crazier. We're going to get to the point where we're going to have, like, a million, right? We're going to start getting, like, a million. Here we go. This is the one where, uh, trainable. So if you unlock this one... You unlock the uh, Champion of Leviathan Warriors, right? So he has his own Warriors, Mages. This is the Cavalry one, 109. And then 101 will unlock the Mages. So 101, and so it goes Mages, Cavs, and then the uh, Warriors. And then this one is just Defense Armor Multiplier. This is insane too, right? So make sure you guys are checking that event every 24 hours when they restock this. And make sure you're getting that free MP. I'm telling you, that MP is free. Do not forget to get your MP every time they restock it. That Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Make sure you're getting it. They give you one. They're giving you free MP. Make sure you get it every time. And then uh, also, if you want, look into getting your Elite Research. I mean, there's just so many good options. Like, if you could go with your elite research, you know, you could go with upgrading your your uh, Magitech converter, your mercenary blueprints, your Oracle temple. There's just so much value out of this uh, event. So, for real, make sure you guys 
Do not miss this event. Get out there and grind. And thank you guys for watching. Please, my friends, let me grab the gun. Pistol whip that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that s -s 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 subscribe button and ding the bell so you know when my videos go live. But uh, for real, thank you guys so much. We're at 101 subscribers. The next goal is to hit 200 subscribers. Let's go, 200 subscribers. We working towards it. And also I have, uh, if you guys don't, like I, I try and do these videos maybe once a week, maybe sometimes it'll be once every two weeks. So if you don't see a video from me in a while, do not get alarmed. I did not quit. I did not give up. I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. So don't be scared to invest in me and hit that subscribe button and watch my you know videos and support me by giving that that hitting that like button because I will keep making videos. I will never stop. Sometimes it just takes me a while because I got a lot going on. Uh, we just recently we got our new chair in. As you can see, we got a new chair. We, uh, I got a new PC I'm going to build live on my uh, stream. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll make a quick video. I'll, I'll post a quick video on YouTube before I go live, letting you guys know that I'll be live on Twitch in case you guys want to come by and watch me build this absolute behemoth monster machine that uh, we're going to be building. We got the i9. We got the 2080 Ti graphics card. We got the the, the MSI godlike motherboard. We went all out. We got two sticks of 30, uh, two sticks of 16 gig RAM. We're gonna have 32 gigs of RAM. We got RGB out the butt. Everything is just RGB. We just lights everywhere. It's gonna be nuts. So make sure you don't want to miss that build. It's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be lots of laughs. So make sure you guys come by if you can. And until then, my friends, I will see y'all in my next video, or I will see y'all in my next live stream. And I'm also working on a side project. I got a, a funny, a funny video that I'm working on, not related to uh, Final Fantasy, but it's gonna be a top five dating websites, the top five dating websites for 2019. And I'm working, I've been working on that for a while, like for a, for you know the last couple of weeks. So that's almost done. I'm gonna post that. I hope you guys enjoy that when it's done. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Thank you so much. I love y'all.